Oh, those run too far. Oh well, whatever. somewhat surprised it was worked so well but the light bounces off the back of the, the, the tin can works really well and that welding rod handle works great cutting it in, in such a way keeps the uh, the flame from moving about too much and that helps stop the uh, the soot from coming from being produced and there's really no soot on the top. However, there is a slight darkening of the top cap. And um, I am concerned because I, I bet, since there was plastic on the outside, there's most likely a plastic layer on the inside. And I'll just, I'll be aware of if it burns off or if it catches fire or something like that. Now, the, um, the wax, is flowing over but I kind of expect it to, to do that I expect that the bottom inch will become a candle and the, the wax will actually just be stuck in there and I can just throw some more chunks of um, wax in there and hopefully that should be okay I do worry that the bottom will get hot whenever it burns out it's a bit warm a bit warm. I might make a little coaster for it. You know what? I have some three inch by three inch little marble tiles and those will be perfect for setting that thing on. The thing that really surprises me about this is the fact that I only spent like 15 minutes thinking it up and so and then only about 30 minutes actually doing it. I could have done it a lot easier if you're doing it at home and you have a pressure cooker evidently you can uh, put the metal into the pressure cooker take the confection yeah, confectioners pastries take the, the food out of it first because that won't survive the pressure cooker 
but evidently the pressure cooker disrupts whatever layer is on there and then you can actually wipe it off fairly easily with acetone but whenever I was cleaning it up with the wire wheel at first I was doing it just to disrupt it just to see if I could then wash it off with acetone and it worked a little bit but then it occurred to me I really like that brushed metal look I, I like that randomization now next time I'm gonna find a Dremel and I'm going to uh, I have one I just need to find it somewhere I'm gonna cut those more exact I wanted this to be a bit pointy though because I don't want it to look friendly on this end because that's the fiery end and I wanted it to be like you don't want to touch it because it also might be kind of hot and it might be kind of po pokey and might have some little jagged pieces I did um, curve the top parts of them though because you don't want something to accidentally get stuck on there and get stuck on it you know like that would be a real pain in the butt but what I think is if I were to drop this on accident, oh, it just made a big, uh, it just broke the side. Not a, not a very good candle. Now it's all flowing down there. That's a bit unfortunate. Now the bottom's filling up with the wax. But oh well. So yeah, I, I have a bunch of candles. I have like hundreds of pounds of them because at my mom's work sometimes they'll get a batch that isn't the right color and they can't quite use it or something like that. Uh, these darn moths are driving me nuts. Oh, that's not the moth. That's not a moth at all. I'm going to look that up to make sure it's not a termite because that is a big pucker. I'm going to take a look at whatever bugs are flying around because all of a sudden a bunch of bugs came so I better make sure no termites are here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.